Hi guys, how are you? Last night I did two freezer meals. One was a um, shepherd's pie and the other one was a taco mixture. As I'm having some family up next month and I thought I'd do some dinners, get some dinners ready in the freezer so it's a lot easier for when they're here and I don't have to stress about anything like that. So I hope you enjoyed the video and um, I'll catch you later. So at the moment I've already got two uh, pots on the stove with uh, mince, just beef mince and onion. That's, they both go exactly the same in it because I'm making, this one's going to be the shepherd's pie. So I've got the ingredients over here for this one so I don't stuff them up. But this one over here is, is going to be taco um, mix. So I'm going to, um, uh, this, they're both going to be freezer meals. So I'm going to put this one in the Ziploc bag, uh, like flatten it out and to freeze it easier. And this one is going to be prepared in the foil tin, so it's easy just to bake in the oven when it's ready to go. So they're both well browned and they're ready for their next step now, which I'm going to put some water in here, three quarters of a cup. And the seasoning packets, are, um, that's what the seasoning packets are for, and the seasoning recipe, uh, packet, whatever you call it. So I'm just going to stir this around a little bit. And the other one's ready too for its... Um, uh, packet mix as well. Like you can obviously do this from scratch but um, just takes a bit of extra stress off me doing it this way. This is getting all mixed up and then I'm going to add some kidney beans, a can of kidney beans. Adding things like this also makes the mixture go a bit further as well. So I'll let this just sit away and cook away for a little bit. So with this Chef's pie ones is getting quite dry, so I need another spoon for that. Get a spoon. So I'm just taste a bit like taco tacos. So I'm gonna put the veggies in here. It's got some frozen veggies of carrot, peas, and corn, or obviously you can just add whatever you like. And we're gonna add the packet mixture as well. So while the carrots and the peas and corn are cooking away, just soften them up. Made in a cup of water. This is what the uh, recipe base asks for. And you see pe um, shepherd's pie flavouring. Now I do have a little bit of um, grey rocks if um, it needs a little bit because I just added a few more veggies to it just to make it go a bit further and, and stuff. So it does, if it is, does need a bit more flavouring, I'll add some more grey, a little bit of grey rocks to it to give it a bit more flavour. So I'll let that cook away for a little bit and get the potatoes ready for the shepherd's pie. So the shepherd pie is cooked. I'm just letting it cool down a little bit before I transfer it to the foil container. And I have the potatoes on the boil ready to cook to get them all nice and soft. They'll take about 15 20 minutes. And my taco mixture is all ready. I'm just letting that cool before I transfer that into a lips off bag and then into the fridge to cool, then into the freezer. With the taco mince, I've put it in a container and then I've put the uh, Ziploc bag inside it and folded the uh, edges over the Ziploc bag so it doesn't get all dirty on the top bits. And I'm going to uh, just do this up and stick in the fridge for a while to cool it down before I stick it in the freezer. I've done the same with the shepherd's pie except I've put it in a foil tin and then I'll cover, when I've mashed the potatoes and put it on top, I will then uh, put it at um, I'll fill at the top and write on it what it is and stick in the freezer as well. But I'll put this in the fridge to cool down first. So this potatoes should be done now. Yep, they're nice and soft. I'm just going to strain them off and then we'll mash them up. So if the steam doesn't annoy the video, all I'm going to add to my potatoes is some lactose free milk because I can't have normal milk, and some, which tastes exactly the same as normal milk, I don't taste any different, and some butter and give it a good mash around. So now we have the um, mashed potato mashed up and my son yelling in the background. <laughs> we'll um, put place it on top of the uh, shepherd's pie mince and then I'll set that in the freezer you're going to cool down the mince. Yes, you're yelling. See? I can see you. Hi! go try to not very good at putting mashed potato on top of things but anyway there you go so I'll stick that in the fridge to cool I'll put some alfoil on top of that so the potatoes and go all dry and then on the night when I'm gonna cook it 
I shall put a bit of cheese on top or butter, whatever I decide to do. And then I can put it in the oven and heat it through. Also, just remember, if you're putting something hot from the up, uh, from the stove top and you want to freeze in the fridge to uh, cool down before you put in the freezer, and you have a glass um, fridge shelving, just put something underneath it, like a, a trivet or a tea towel, just so it doesn't hurt the glass at all. That's a, just another little tip for you. So here's my shepherd's pie ready to go. I've uh, sealed it well with some alfoil and wrote the name on it and the, the degrees it needs to go in for and how long. And the taco mince, so it's all cooled down now and it's um, uh, flattened it out as much as I can. And it, I'll just place that on top of the shepherd's pie and stick that in the freezer. So there it is already nice and ready for my guests when, when they arrive. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it some thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.